My name is Patrick Harrington from Durham, North yeah. Carolina, and you watching my documentary. My young boys in the neighborhood look up to me to the fullest, and I keep that in mind when I'm on the court to motivate me, to don't give up on my dreams, and I always stand loud. Shout out all my dogs that push me to keep hooping and stand on the right track. After losing the game, uh, I just really needed the guy, really. And put up some shots that I was missing in front of the crowd. I really don't see pressure in the game. Uh, I just really want to play basketball, really. That's all. I don't let the pressure get to me because you let the pressure get to you, get all in your head. Been here, All Star. We're going to ask them three questions. You have eight seconds to answer each question, and we're going to wrap it up in 38 seconds. Who's your favorite NBA point guard? Uh, Chris Paul. From getting my first post game interview in Atlanta, Georgia, attending the Ben Hill All Star game, I knew in my head that I was going to be a star one day. Growing up in Atlanta, playing basketball every day meant a lot to me. During the time playing basketball in Atlanta, I relocated to Durham, North Carolina to join Team Believe and have a fresh new start in my life. I want to thank every coach in Atlanta that coached me from the beginning to the end. Never ever will I forget the long nights that we had in the gym. Giving a shout out to my brothers from Team Believe. They always will have an impact on my life. Bringing us all together from the Bulls City is going to take me and my teammates to bigger and better things. I am ready to see what the future has in store for us. Believe way or no way. For this upcoming season for my last year playing prep basketball for Team Believe, I expect nothing but blessings from the man above. When Pat got his first dunk, it was like, you feel me, I got my first dunk, that's my tune, you feel me, so like, um, I was recording it, and like, he told me to, he told me to record it, but I didn't think he was going to dunk it, and when I seen it, he dunked. Even though he my little cousin, he inspired me a lot. You feel me? Like, I ain't start hooping until he came back from Atlanta. Man. Like, he pushed me to the point where he's like, bro, you need to hoop, do all this, but like, I ain't really trying to go for it because he got it. <laughs> you took it over, you feel me? But like, yeah, he inspired me a lot. I went off the court, like, in school, everything. Like, he was just, he was just my big brother, but little cousin, you feel me? This childhood memory I probably had with Pat was, I know Pat since like elementary school. Came into school, we used to, only niggas play sports. And so my best childhood memory I'll probably say, at the park, down the street from uh, Club Boulevard, he was, you know, we always tried to look, press the little girls and stuff. So he thought he could do a backflip on this little stone little bridge. So he did it all, boom. Busted his nose, bloody everything, he was crying. He was clowning him because the girls were laughing at him and everything. Next day he came back with like stitches in his nose and man, I got so many Let's get it! Let's get it! Let's get it! Let's get it! My best memory of Pat was played in Riverside. First game against Riverside. Pat, you know, we was talking back and forth. Northern versus Riverside, biggest game. And so I told him, he was on a bench at this time. He was talking. They had the free throw line, they come and miss. I looked directly at him, I said, I'm about to hit this shot. I put down everything. So I came down the court, did my little thing, shot from like volleyball line. Hit, tied game, looked directly at Pat, and Pat just did nothing but destroy his shoulders. But that was probably my best memory of Pat right there. Because after that, I knew, like, you know, he was going to be tough to guard, and he knew I was going to be tough to guard. So that, after that, we just been 
working and working and trying to get out the city, you feel me? That's about it right there. Trying to get some dough. Seeing OG's dash, he ain't trying to go. A couple of and tried him, he ain't never let it go. Revenge on him. The person that drives me every day to succeed in life and never give up on my dreams, I will always thank my mother for raising me to be the man I am today. Giving a shout out to my coaches for having faith in me and making me into a true point guard that's going to be great and do unforgettable things in my career. Making these people in my city proud of me means a lot. Knowing that I have a strong support system behind me will only push me 10 times harder and push me to stay on my daily grind to achieve my future goals.